Hello guys, hope you all are safe and healthy in this pandemic. So as usual, this is Priyanshi and I'm again back with the Dhamma topic this time. So today's topic is a gem uh, topic for all the students who are in medical field. Okay. I also have brought some twists in my video today and I hope all of you will like it. So, without any further delay, let's get started. The topic for today is ligaments of the knee joint. Now, many of you have told me to give information about the topic I'm giving mnemonics on. So, today I thought of giving you some gyan before giving the mnemonics. So, here are some pictures of the knee joint before I give you the gyan. So, this is how the knee joint looks uh, in an x-ray. This is a broken knee joint. We can see an x-ray of that. Now, let's begin with the gyan. So, do you know the knee joint is the largest and the most complex joint? The complexity is due to fusion of three joints in one, the lateral fibrotibial, the medial fibrotibial and the femoropatellar joints. Now the bones forming this knee joint are the condyles of the femur, the patella and the condyles of the tibia. Now this is just the beginning of the movie. This is how the three bones look. We can see the femur, we can see the patella and we can see the tibia. Now guys be ready because I am going to show a very very complex diagram which uh, may scare you. This is the ligaments of the knee joint. Now this looks like a very difficult one but uh, I must tell you there are just 9 ligaments in the knee joint. Now let's see them individually. First we have the capsular ligament. Secondly we have the ligamentum patellae. Third we have the tibial and fibular collateral ligaments. Fourth, we have the anterior and posterior cruciate ligament. Fifth, we have the medial and lateral menisci. Sixth, we have the oblique popliteal ligament. Seventh, we find the arcuate popliteal ligament. Eighth is the transverse ligament. And ninth is the coronary ligament. Now this uh, seems so difficult, isn't it? Just nine ligaments, but the names scare you, right? So don't worry, guys. Just now I'm going to make your life a more, a lot more easier by giving you the mnemonic. Cats can take little foam tablets and capsules. <laughs> Listening to this, the cat is like, oh my god, are you serious, dude? Like, seriously, you're going to t make me take foam tablets? And I'm like, oh yes, my boy, you definitely need it. You're ill. <laughs> Good story, isn't it? Now, before we see it individually, I have some more diagrams for you. Uh, see this beautiful diagram, another x-ray. Also, we have some other diagrams for you so that you can understand it better. Uh, guys, I hope you all liked this story and all the information that I've collected. If you did, please, please, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel and and 
don't forget to turn the bell icon so that you can receive all the notifications of these amazing videos that i make and uh, it, it it will help you pass your exam and will definitely help you remember it all your life now i'm done with my promotion guys uh, let's see them individually and now for the mnemonic i must say that many for many the first letter has been taken and for many it has been changed cats stands for capsular ligament can stands for cruciate ligament the anterior and posterior one take stands for tibial collateral ligament little is ligamentum patellae now the foam has been broken into four parts there are four ligaments in it f is fibular collateral ligament o is oblique popliteal ligament a is arcuate popliteal ligament m is medial and lateral menisci after this we have tablets which stands for transverse ligament and capsules which stands for coronary ligament now i guess your expression has become like this i hope this uh, mnemonics can be some use to you and if you have liked the video don't forget to like share and subscribe stay safe keep sanitizing yourself and your environment and till the next video happy learning